you in the field house, did you have a cast on, or did you re hurt your thumb? Or? No, so I had taken it off in practice. I had a, previously had the full club on, so this is just what I wear during the week, uh, just to keep my wrist protected. Uh, on game day, it's a little less, just but protected during the week. Angelique, <laughs> I can tell you're like itching to ask a question. How frustrating Saturday not being able to run the ball effectively, and, and Jim said that there was some tweaking that needs to be done in the, in the run blocking. Uh, you know, it's definitely something that uh, we watch in the film, and we're always trying to get better. You know, we're just gonna we kind of we need to adjust a couple of points uh, on a few different plays. Uh, but you know, we can't rely on that pass game when the run game's not as strong, which uh, a lot of people have been wanting to see, which we always knew we had. So we weren't weren't able to run the ball as well as we wanted to, but we had the pass game as well. Zach, you've been nursing or you know having a cast for a couple months. Has it been frustrating to kind of go back and forth with it and everything? Um, I wouldn't say. I'd say it's uh, definitely getting better. I mean, a perfect world. I'd love to not have anything on my hand, but uh, not having the full club anymore has definitely uh, been beneficial. Having my hand back, being able to uh, use my hand has definitely been helpful. Red zone efficiency isn't all on the offensive line, but how frustrating is it when you're down there and you, you just can't punch it, punch it in for touchdowns? Uh, you know, when we, get, when we get down the red zone, we definitely we want seven, not three. Um, but you know, it, it's it's a full team effort. Uh, we do need to be better at getting uh, touchdowns in the red zone, which uh, we're working on. Is there something that's con that's consistent? A symptom of, of something that's? I mean, I know it's you're you're a lot closed. It's. There are a lot more people closed in. I know it's not easy, but is there something that you're seeing that's a trend? Oh, uh, you know, once we get down there, uh, everyone knows we like to run the ball. They start packing the box a little heavier. Mm -hmm. uh, a few more guys than we can that we have than we can account for. So we're we, we're making adjustments. Awesome, Zach. Um, what did you take away from the players meeting yesterday? Describe a little bit about the scene and, and what was said. And what you took away from it? Uh, I kind of took away of it. You know, we're moving on. Uh, it's, it didn't ruin our season. We still got everything we want in front of us. We're going to win out um, and kind of just let it be the past. Uh, tough loss, but we're moving on. Can't do anything about it. You guys going to watch the rankings showing up? Or? I personally won't, no. Isaiah? What, what gives you guys confidence about the ability to turn the page and to, like you said, you, you, you plan on winning out. What gives you guys that confidence that you can do that? I mean, we've been saying from the beginning that this team's special. It's been all sunshines and rainbows since the beginning. And uh, I think everyone will see what makes this team special is our, like, something didn't go right. We had a tough loss. The ability for us to turn around and uh, finish off the season strong. David said, Jabo said it was, there was people could get up and, and say things if they wanted to at the, the meeting floor was open. Did you happen to take advantage of that? Uh, I mean, we had talked before the meeting as well, and uh, we just kind of, we we're all on the same page that, you know, it wasn't, we can't point the fingers at one person here, one person there, one mistake. Everyone had their handprint uh, on the game and uh, that we all need to move on together. Isaiah. I know this is only your second year, but is that different at all compared to what you had experienced last year? Uh, in what way? In the idea that, that people are, everyone's taking accountability, that it is a lot of finger pointing. I would say definitely. I think last year we took a loss and it kind of affected us and going into the next week. I think this year uh, it's different and the ability that the leadership on the team has been able to help everyone uh, just move on and get ready for this week. Angelique again. Do you, I mean, a night game falling this late in the season, do you like that? I mean, is that something that gets the, the team fired up, even when it's going to be 30, whatever it is, 32? I mean, I'm, I don't mind the cold. I, I think it's going to be I think it's gonna be a great environment. I mean, any night game in the big house, especially coming off the loss last week, the team's going to be pumped up, ready to go uh, under the lights. Angelique, 